Dan Ventura, the Boston Herald. We're here with Jackson Gillis, star left-handed pitcher at Wilmington High School. The one thing you always hear about as a high school pitcher when he goes to that next level is someone who can throw 90 miles an hour. Do you remember the first time you hit 90 on a gun? Um, I couldn't. I couldn't put a day to the exact exact time, but I, it was some game my sophomore year. I mean, I, I came out. I knew I was throwing hard, but I didn't really hurt 90 miles an hour till, till probably middle to the end of my sophomore year. You know, when you start hearing that, does that kind of, you know, I'm sure it's got to blow your mind a little bit, your young kid here throwing what a lot of major leaguers are throwing. Yeah, um, I try not to think too much about it. I just really make sure I do what I can do and stay within my ability and try and execute everything, including my pitches. Well, you certainly are more than just a hard thrower or else you wouldn't be going to Vanderbilt. What was it about Vanderbilt that sold you? Um, definitely just a combination of the academics and athletics. The coaching staff really made a huge difference. It made me feel at home uh, both times I was down there and it really just felt like a home away from home. So it's an easy decision. For you, is it a lot easier going into your senior year knowing where you're going? You don't have to worry about any college stuff. Yeah, it takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of pressure off, and just I try and make sure that I'm out there trying to have fun, and I, I try not to think about it too much. It takes a lot of pressure off me, though, knowing where I'm going. You know, you, as one of the marquee guys around here, I'm sure you're no stranger to the Major League Scouting Bureau. Do you talk to them at all? Uh, yeah, we've been in we've been in pretty constant contact since probably the end of my sophomore year um, you know they, they really help me out they they really try and make sure that I'm not dealing with the scouts directly and they want to make sure that they're kind of taking the pressure off me so I can go out there and pitch and they they kind of take care of the rest when you see scouts here has it gotten to the point now where it's just second nature yeah I try I try not to lose a feeling of having scouts there because it's definitely it's definitely cool to know they're there but I mean I've gotten used to them the more I've thrown in front of them and I, I try not to really pay attention to them as much as I can. Great. Are you a better coach on Jays Jackson pitches? Well I, I like to think I'm the same coach that uh, on those days uh, we try to keep everything the same uh, you know day in day out. He's certainly a pretty special pitcher. What is it about him that separates him from the rest of the pack? Well, you know, the kids have a lot of confidence when he gets on the mound. Um, they play they play comfortable behind him because they know he throws strikes. And, um, you know, they, they stay alert. They can, they stay in the game a lot, uh, a lot better than, uh, you know, if one of our pitchers happens to be struggling. Jack, Jack very rarely struggles. He, 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 he pounds the strike zone, and uh, that keeps the kids in the game. Even though he seems to be, he is the star, here he seems like he's just one of the guys talk about him off the field he he is and um you know the good thing about jack is that uh, he helps all the all of our pitches um if we you know have a have a guy who is, is struggling with a certain pitch jack will go up and uh, and use his expertise to help him out and uh you know that that's all 15 guys on the team we, we're kind of uh you know, we pride ourselves in being one, and, uh, you know, Jack's part of that group. It certainly helps when the best guy buys into that. Yes, it does, and, uh, you know, the others follow right along with that. Great.